This is Sean with Rocky Ripple Stories. We're here with Cindy B and her fairy tale houses. How are you? I'm doing good today. So you create these gorgeous fairy tale houses of all shapes oh. and sizes. Oh, wait, Is that let's right? Let's open it up to show you. Sure. Wow. That is pretty amazing. When did you start creating these? So I was hired to make a small fairy door for somebody. And this all sort of spun from me making a small fairy door. Um, I try things, I put it out in the woods, and I thought, hmm, the fairy door needs a house behind it, and that's sort of what happened. And now I take walks and find pieces of sticks and logs and think, well, that's, that's a awning, or, ooh, I could use that mushroom for a porch. How many do you think you've created over the years? I've sold 150 at Etsy. Wow. And I have some reviews, and people seem to love them, and they just seem to get bigger, and larger and um, take up a lot of my time these days. Okay, what do you uh, what do you like about the festival today? Well, I really feel welcome here. I feel like I found my tribe and my people. People are encouraging me and telling me how much they love it. But there's just a really good vibe here. I like the music, there's those food. There's not often, it's busy. There's a lot of traffic. Kids seem to like it. I, my grandkids are here. They're off playing somewhere. I met a lot of nice people, made some good contacts, so it's been a really good day for somebody who's a vendor. Well, I think you make a very unique and beautiful product, so hopefully all the fairy tale dreams of your clients will also come true with the good <laughs> mojo of the uh, fairy tale tree houses. I mean, you're guaranteed a few extra wishes if this you get one of these. All right, well, thank you for your time, and I wish you luck on your treehouse road ahead. Thanks. You got it.